Imagine a hill with various features such as rocks, puddles, and trees. If you were to put your mind to it and precisely measure every dimension of this hill, then set a ball in motion from its very top, you would be able to predict exactly where that ball will end up at the bottom, and you'd know its final position down to an incredibly small distance. We could make this scenario infinitely more complex by adding more hills, rocks, trees, even small ponds for the ball to roll through. No matter how intricate we make this landscape, we would still be able to determine exactly where the ball will land, because there are laws of physics that govern how objects behave in our universe. Given this understanding, you would never argue that when a ball encounters an obstacle, it might choose to go left instead of right, and that in a physical system like this, every action has a predictable reaction. This concept of determinism in physical systems can be extended to think about causality and predictability in other contexts as well. This idea traces back to ancient Greece, a time when Democritus argued that atoms move according to strict physical laws, leaving no room for chance. During the Enlightenment, Laplace imagined a supreme intelligence knowing the position and motion of every particle could predict the entire future. Newton's laws seem to support this view, seeing the universe as a giant clockwork mechanism, ticking away with mechanical precision. The debate over free will often hinges on the idea that our choices are either determined by a causal order or are so random as to be indistinguishable from chance. Some argue that the universe appears deterministic because evolution has occurred and that the processes that seem non-random are a result of evolution making them more and more secure through error correction. While the universe is in fact random overall, but then quantum mechanics threw a wrench in the works, postulating that at the subatomic level events seem genuinely random, while quantum indeterminacy might average out at the macro level, preserving determinism where it matters. While acknowledging quantum randomness as a potential challenge to strict determinism, there are also those who maintain that this does not equate to free will and conclude that even if randomness exists, it does not imply individuals can control or influence it. Some contend that determinism absolves individuals from responsibility for their actions, Others assert that accountability is essential regardless of the extent to which choices are predetermined. That's a sobering reminder that we might be less free than we'd like to think. But hey, we were determined to come to that conclusion anyway, right? Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.